In the heart of Changchun, where frost kissed winter mornings and steel hummed against a backdrop of revolution, a red dream took shape. 1958, and the air crackled with desire for self-reliance. Chairman Mao's vision whispered among engineers and whispered through smoky factories became a reality. The Dongfeng CA-71, China's first car. It wasn't just a car, it was a symbol. Its sleek red curves inspired by the phoenix rising from the ashes held the weight of the nation's ambitions. Under the hood, a Soviet engine grumbled, a foreign heart grafted onto a body born of Chinese ingenuity. Inside, leather seats held the ghost of whispers, dreams of long drives across vast landscapes, journeys that wouldn't depend on the whims of foreign trucks. Lao Wang, a young engineer with grease under his fingernails and fire in his eyes, led the project. He poured his life into the Dengfeng, each weld a prayer, each bolt a promise. With him, a ragtag team, students fresh from technical schools, weathered mechanics with hands that spoke volumes, and dreamers who saw in metal and rubber a chance to write their own chapter in history. Days bled into nights, fueled by tea and dumplings, fueled by the roar of machinery and clinks of tools. Doubts whispered, like the winter wind hollowing at the factory walls. Was it a fool's errand, trying to build a car from scratch? Yet, under the dim lights, with each polished chrome bumper and each hand-stitched seam, hope blossomed, stubborn and bright. Finally, the day arrived. The first Dongfeng, resplendent in its red paint, emerged from the factory gates. A hush fell over the crowd, then a roar, a wave of cheers that washed over the car like a cleaning tide. Lao Wang, eyes glistening, stood back, watching his creation roll into the future. The Dongfeng's journey was short-lived. Only a handful were ever built, each one carefully preserved testaments to a nation's first steps. But its legacy wasn't measured in miles. It was etched in the hearts of a people who dared to dream of wills made by their own hands, of roads paved with their own ambition. The Dongfeng sputtered and stalled, but the spark it ignited never died. For in that red car, a nation tasted the sweet freedom of self-reliance. And the road ahead, once a distant mirage, shimmered with the promise of countless tomorrows, propelled by the engines built on home soil. So remember, the next time you see a Chinese car glide by, remember the Dongfeng, the red phoenix that rose from the ashes, a testament to the nation's unwavering spirit and its relentless pursuit of the open road.